You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is the Mind Health Coach with your host, Leah Marie. Change your mind, change your life. Your life is your choice, and you don't have to walk that path alone. Let Leah help you explore healing, inner peace, self love, and bring joy and wellness into your life. So now, please welcome the host of the Mind Health Coach, Leah Marie. Welcome to the Mind Health Coach Program. I'm Leah Marie, your host, and you're listening to a live broadcast here at the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. The Mind Health Coach Program is aired every Monday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to tune into the show on Mondays at 6 p.m. if you want to improve your life. And to learn more about me and the programs I offer, visit mindhealthcoach.com. And you can also learn more about my eight weeks to a better brain using Muditations Daily Meditation Program at Muditations.com. That's um, a good resource to take a look at. And I am actually developing some more meditations that have to do with different aspects of life. Um, this particular series of meditations that's on the Muditations CD, or you can get them in MP3 format from my website, are geared um, towards different aspects, but for a daily meditation practice that um, focuses on, you know, creating overall wellness and and uh, bringing in a sense of creativity to your experience in life, helping you change your perception. Um, I'm also working on a couple meditations that are more along the lines of um, weight loss and stress management and that sort of thing. So stay tuned because those will be coming soon uh, on my website. I'll be posting the MP MP threes that you can download the audios and uh also you know you'll be able to probably get them in cd format if that that seems to be less and less of what people are doing this day so i'm not even um unless somebody requests it i may not even do it in that format so i wanted to share with you guys some things that i have coming up i actually am offering um, soon, an executive level of um, stress management coaching. I was doing some research on uh, the demographic because I'm considered a an executive in a company. So I, I'm a chief operating officer at a company that handles elder care. And it's a pretty stressful job. Um, you know, we're dealing with an extremely stressed population the demographic is such that people are in crisis mode typically when we're um, you know engaged with them talking to them about our services and then getting their services uh, in- instituted for their loved ones so it can be a very trying time um, so I myself uh, have a, a pretty high level stress job and I um, you know I've learned through the years through my own certification and my own journey um, cert- certifications in stress management techniques um, holistic stress management being a certified life coach and uh, all the wonderful things I know about um, the healthcare field and and dementia and different ways to approach it from a non-stress standpoint working with essential oils and different different techniques that are really natural and um, you know I'm actually asked to speak a lot for the Alzheimer's Association and that sort of thing, um, educating on this topic. It is very important that we take care of ourselves during that process. If you are somebody that is a family caregiver also working and maybe you have kids in college or something like that, 
you're pretty stressed. <laughs> and I, I mean, I experience these people all the time from all over uh, New England. So I know that you're out there and I have total empathy for your stress. And so the, the other thing that I'm offering beyond, you know, the um, executive level uh, coaching, which I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment, is um, I'm actually asked to be a featured speaker, again, on a dementia-supported cruise. So if you are a family that has a loved one that's experiencing dementia, then you could come aboard this cruise that's happening September 1st through the 8th. And it is, as I mentioned, dementia supported. There's um, personnel on there. It's run by an RN who specializes in dementia. Um, the whole cruise will be, uh, you know, just a regular cruise. And then there'll be an area where these folks are available for support. And there'll be some workshops going on that are geared towards um, how to work with your loved one, um, what you guys are going through, and uh, different approaches to care. There's all different aspects. There's three different or four different speakers aboard. I'm included in that lineup, and I'll be addressing the stress management and, um, you know, working with care staff, uh, caregivers that are experiencing high levels of stress. And you get to bring your loved one aboard, too, because there'll be that care component there of, um, you know, professional experts that are nursing uh, staff and that sort of thing to help out as well. It's just I think it's going to be an amazing experience. I was um, you know, enlisted in, in doing this before. Um, and I just, I think it's really a great thing for families that are undergoing a lot of stress to come together and you can even come together as a total family and, um, you know, experience this, this experience this vacation to Bermuda, um, for seven days and it's all supported. And so, I really am excited about this because I've never been to Bermuda and I hear it's just amazing. And to have, you know, this kind of touch with people that are um, really needing a vacation and haven't been able to um, take one, I think, you know, that's one of the things I hear people say they can't even, you know, leave their house sometimes because of the care that's involved. So this is just an amazing opportunity for those of you that are out there working towards um, caring for your loved one safely in the home um, that you or, or anywhere if you're in assisted living wherever this is an opportunity for you to hop on board with your loved one and maybe even the whole family and really make some memories for, you know, you to have positive interactions with your loved one that is challenged with this disease. Um, you know, this disease process isn't easy and we have to join those folks in their journey and having the expertise that will be on board will be just amazing um, to help with, with the support that you'll be needing on this type of trip. So I'm really excited about that. So the dates, again, are September 1st through the 8th. And it will be um, Celebrity Summit is the cruise that is taking place. I, that's the ship. So you can visit my website for more information. It's um, www.mindhealthcoach.com. And please, uh, you know, feel free to call me, um, leave a message. I'll have somebody get back to you or I'll call you myself. 508-938-9211. Um, or you can shoot an email at info at mindhealthcoach.com for more information and, and we'll be in touch with you. So it's, it's really exciting. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we're doing some different unique things to help those care caregivers, those family caregivers cope and, uh, experience some fun times, some positive interactions, um, and get some rest too, at the same time. So, with that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm circling back to what I initially started out saying, I'm going to be doing some, uh, corporate, um, you know, executive level coaching and there'll be some webinar webinars available to learn more about that. And I'm going to be teaching, um, you know, in coaching on how to give yourself a brain spa and, you know, what does that mean? And, you know, we, we need to take that time every day. And sometimes we just, don't fit it in, but I'm, I'm kind of bringing a different feel to it when I talk about 
bringing your you, you to a brain spa instead of um, you know making it seem like a chore. <laughs> so we're going to take a break, um, and when we come back, we'll talk more about stress management techniques. That's what this show is going to be about tonight, and we will be right back. Stay tuned. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. We are back, and I'm Leah Marie, your host for this hour on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio with the Mind Health Coach Program. So before we went to break, I was telling you guys about um, some different things that I have going on. And, you know, I'm interested in touching every um, person out there that is experiencing too much stress in their life. And, you know, in America, we have a lot of stress going on, and it seems that uh, some of the most stressed age groups are actually the millennials, which are ages 18 to 33. They're extremely stressed out about their futures, um, you know, the job market, um, housing prices, and it's just they're They actually have a lot of issues going on where they're um, so stressed out, they're losing a lot of sleep, which is unfortunate. And I know that, you know, all throughout many centuries, we've all had some level of stress somewhere. But, um, you know, a lot of these folks are, are feeling it at this time. The Gen Xers. It's noted that um, ages 34 to 47, this is from the American Psychological Association, um, the Gen Xers, uh, they're actually, you know, the most stressed out group. They are reporting very high levels of stress. And the baby boomers are also reporting high levels of stress, but not as high um, as the Gen Xers. Excuse me. And it's interesting that um, the Gen Xers, are actually experiencing more stress the more money they make. So anybody that's making over 200,000 plus is experiencing a higher stress level. Now you would think that if you are making that much money, you know, in today's day and age that you would be feeling okay, but people actually with lower salaries from 51,000 to 75,000 in that specific age group of the Gen Xers are actually feeling less stress. They actually are feeling, um, you know, that, that, uh, they don't have the workload that the, uh, people that are making 200,000 plus are feeling. So the the workload, um, the, the number of hours are um, all key indicators to what is causing this level of stress and people making that much money. So it's kind of an interesting thing. And it's, um, you know, I think that most people that feel stressed and uh, not, you know, to the point where they're not, lo- they're not really living their life in a quality way, And they're actually feeling so stressed that they're not getting enough sleep. Um, They feel like they can't get enough work done. I don't know if that's worth the money. (laughs) So it's kind of interesting. It's, It's, I think, a moment of gratitude should be had if you actually feel that, you know, your stress level is lower Because if you've got um, a stress-free lifestyle and you're experiencing quality of life, something, you know, the best things in life are free, I I find. You know, there's so many things that we want materialistically. And, you know, I'm one of them that also (laughs) wants a lot of different things like vacations and, you know, a new car and and those types of things. And it's, it's good to want those things. But the real things that make me extremely happy 
actually are for free. And, you know, some of those things are include just moments with family or, um, you know, just being able to be in nature. Now, if you're in a very high stress job where your time is in demand all the time, then you never get those moments. And it, when you have those moments, you may not even be um have you know holding the space for them so you might be in a state of you're not even present in the present moment and being mindful about what is actually occurring and you're kind of missing that moment in life that you might be able to cherish you know um it it was interesting for me when I have taken those moments back you know I I was kind of in that fast paced always go 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 and not really paying attention to what was happening. And I kind of saw like that my children um, grew up really quick. (laughs) And I'm like, wow, they were one day just starting high school. And it seems that, you know, they're already done and in college. So I I realized, wow, I've got to really slow down and, and work on that. And, you know, I did always attend all the games and all of the things, the plays or whatever that I could. Um, So they weren't, missing me, but I wasn't always totally present. And that's um, something I have realized. And so I cherish all of that now, like I make sure that there's plenty of time for us to come together as a family and that I'm totally present when I am there. Because those moments don't come back to you. And it was something that my mother who was since passed has always said to me, and I, you know, took it for granted. And, uh, you know, I, I wasn't a total, uh, you know, total person that just blew it off. But I, I did realize, boy, I could really immerse myself in the quality of these experiences so much more if I was being more present and mindful. So that, that's something that sometimes you have to shift gears and it's not always easy, especially when, you know, you're, you're in a position where a lot of people are looking to you, you have a lot of responsibility and um, your job's on the line. And, you know, the way the economy is, there's not really a whole lot of loyalty between the employee employer and the employee in a lot of situations. So that can make it very tense. And in the fact that you never know, you know, you got to make sure that you're, you're always doing what is expected, or your job could be at risk. So I totally get that. But there's ways that you have to manage that. And it's kind of like you got to look at and, and see what is really what you're looking for out of life? And where does your purpose lie? And our purpose can shift and change as we shift and change. And that's okay. But if you're not getting fullness out of the moment, and you know, we're like really being immersed in the present, present moment and being mindful and experiencing the good of life, then it can become, you know, very much more stressful and not feeling good and cause you a lot of health issues too. So, you know, there's a lot to look at too, when you're um, trying to figure out what is actually stressing you out. You know, there's different factors sometimes that you're not even realize realizing that are bringing you stress that are underlying kind of like in the background, uh, like just static noise that's going on, but it's really stressing you out and you know, it's there, but you don't want to acknowledge it. So sometimes, you know, seeing how you can operate with that in a way that will help bring a sense of peace about whatever it is going on. Like, for instance, I know some people that have um, issues with their adult children that are um, difficult, you know, like there's drug use or or that sort of thing. And it causes it causes that person immense stress because they really have no control over it. Um, And this is several different folks that are in the community that I know of. And, you know, I, I have so much empathy for these people because they've they were wonderful parents. It's just that there's an epidemic and, um, you know, it's very challenging for people to be dealing with the knowledge that your child is actually, you know, on the verge of doing something that could be fatal, you know, so it's, it's a difficult thing to have, uh, kind of vibrating under the surface all the time and and wondering where your loved one is, your child that you, you know, you have. So it's important that, you know, 
you recognize that obviously in as a parent, of course, you're going to feel stressed about it. But how do you manage that? There are ways to manage that. So when we come back, we're going to take another break, we're going to talk about different approaches to self care and self love, so that you can kind of manage things from from a perspective of, of really being whole and present with yourself. We'll be right back. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. Global Glory, that's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. Welcome back to the Mind Health Coach Program with Leah Marie on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. So we were, we were talking about different aspects to um, what brings us stress and the different age groups and how they're being affected. And, you know, that one of the most stressed out populations of today is kind of that sandwich generation that is either, you know, maybe they're raising a family right now um, or they're kind of on the other side of the spectrum where they're still, they may have kids in college still and they, um, you know, they have aging parents that are now needing them them to help out as well so the financial financial pressure is on and then you know just the aspect of managing it all and some even have grandchildren that they're helping care for too so there's a lot going on for that particular segment of the population and it appears from uh, different research that's out there I was actually looking at um, some more up-to-date data that uh, you know that showed that the more money you make the the more stressed you are <laughs> so we think that oh that person's got a very you know big job and they make good money and everything's great for them but in fact they actually have more stress in their lives because of that because their workloads are just outrageous in today's society of Amer- uh, corporate America you, you know it's like uh, the companies have gone through such uh, changes in reorganization and they've piled a lot of inco- and kind of consolidated a lot of job rules. So people that have higher level job functions are actually doing a lot of multiple roles. And, you know, even though they're getting paid for it, is it worth it? Is it, it is it worth the quality of life that that happens? So, you know, there's different things that you can do. I'm not saying, you you know, give up your job and then go live in, you know, Hawaii or something. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that, okay, we, we can acknowledge that because that's part of the process that either you fit into that category or there's some other things that are at play for you to, to look at. Maybe, as I mentioned, you're going through some difficulties that are quite difficult in the fact that you have a family member that's doing some things that are causing some extreme underlying stress, or maybe um, there's an illness that's happening with your aging parent that's causing you incredible stress. 
Um, but th- these are things to look at and to kind of sort of build your stress management portfolio and how are you responding? How, how are you responding to each occurrence? And if you're continuously having these responses, you're actually that are stress responses versus, OK, let's let's look at this from a standpoint of. Um, you know, removing your, yourself somewhat from the situation and looking at the bigger picture, um, you know, and then working on some different aspects and using some different tools that help you manage it. And just to kind of, even if it's just the physiological aspects of things like bringing your heart rate down and slowing down your breathing, those those things to to do while you're having these stress-related thoughts can make a difference in your health because if you continuously are um, building the pressure like a you know like a Dutch oven like you're just building 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 that pressure inside there's a chance where you could explode like you could end up having eventually a stroke or a heart attack or you could you know develop a long-term illness like diabetes or um, high blood pressure that could be quite detrimental. So these are things that are to be considered when you are having those stress responses, those negative chronic stress responses, you're building up, um, you know, what's called cortisol in your body, which causes inflammation. And it's, it's kind of like a whole circuitry that's being placed in your brain, so that you are constantly feeling that stress and your body's calling for the cortisol, and it's just a very unhealthy predicament to be in. However, if you start to inject, and and like I said, first look at the big picture, acknowledge what you're you're facing, what your behaviors are, and how you're reacting, um, and maybe interjecting some different uh, holistic stress management techniques techniques that are out there or if you need even more support from your doctor um, initially to help you with medications I mean that's an option too but there's a lot of different holistic remedies that are really wonderful there's essential oils there's some uh, pranayama breathing techniques that can help as I said I'd love to teach you guys about my new brain spying (laughs) going to the spa for your brain um, is going to be a program I'm putting together for the spring and summer. So, um, you know, this is really critical, especially if you're looking at, uh, you know, brain health and, and you see a trend in your family where there's issues. It's important to recognize that too, because the more that you do on the front end of it from age 40 going forward, you actually lower your chances of forming dementia and uh, activating DNA that could be um, affecting your family with Alzheimer's. So those are all very important reasons why you would want to take a look at this sooner rather than later. Now, I've been studying Ayurveda, and I I really am fascinated with some of the things that are coming out from that. And, um, you know, I really feel like the the practice of Ayurveda, which some of you may not even know what Ayurveda is, but it's kind of like the study of the science of life, and it's a sister science of yoga. Um, And it goes back, you know, many, many years. It's uh, from ancient times, like over 10,000 years ago, um, Ayurveda was actually the way that, you know, medicine was practiced. And a lot of what we see today is um, incorporated into our medicine. And so it's it's really the foundation of what originated next in uh, our practice of medicine today. So, you know, pranayama breathing's part of that and you know just the breath is is so powerful um you know if we're feeling a sense of anxiety or anything like that taking a nice slow deep breath in a certain way and there's different ways you can do it there's blocking your nostrils feeling where your abdomen's at um, taking the breath in certain a certain ratio um it can all bring down your blood pressure. It can change 
what's going on on a physiological level. It's pretty amazing with just your breathing. You know, we do it all day long and it's like, I think there's 21,000 breaths in a day and, you know, we, we take that for granted. So, um, you know, there's going to be more. I'm going to talk about this. We're, we've got to take another break. We will be right back. And um, your host will stay tuned for more. Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a passionate book that tells the true story of author Rhonda Knudsen's journey through the darkness and adversity of abuse. The book takes readers on an emotional trail from the depths of despair to the heights of forgiveness and understanding. She was inspired to help others, and her book is a vital tool through this process. Faithful to God and devotional to her beacon of hope, Rhonda Knudsen is a perfect example of finding a guiding light that helped her come through the dark and into the light. Her book can assist you in overcoming your challenges with abuse. The publication of Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story, is a triumphant achievement, and it can help you take ownership of your own experience of abuse and come through stronger than before. Rhonda is currently working on two more books, Shadows of Corruption and Coast to Coast on a Piece of Toast. To read more about this inspiring author and purchase her books, visit RhondaKnutson.com or go to www.amazon.com. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various business interests through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help Help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at Pam R E G O one at Verizon.net. She's also on the web at PamReeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. We are back and I'm Leah Marie, your host for this hour on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio with Mind Health Coach Program. I'm your host, Leah Marie. And so before we went to break, I was talking about the breath and how it is so powerful and there's so many variations to the breath that can bring you instant relaxation and just immediately change your perspective about what's going on especially if you're having a stressed moment Um, there's a lot of different things that can be done uh, for yourself that don't cost money so (laughs) there there's um A lot of great ways to approach life and to really get into balance just by eliminating sugar and caffeine and that sort of thing is very helpful. It starts to make you feel physically better Um, in Ayurveda, which is something I touched upon before we went to break. And, you know, I said I'm studying that I'm actually going to be doing some workshops on that eventually as well. And so there's something called the doshas and we all kind of have the different doshas that are part of our makeup, but some doshas are stronger than others. And, uh, you know, when we know what our strong doshas are, which our dominant doshas are, we can better keep ourselves in balance from an aspect of knowing, you know, having that knowledge is very powerful. Um, And then there's some basic practices in Ayurveda that are incredibly um, helpful with nutrition and just Uh, self-care. There's different things you can do on a daily basis, a daily routine for yourself, um, including self-massage. I love that one. That's a lot of fun. And I play with that a lot, meaning I use different oils. um, I use different, you know, they're all pesticide free and that sort of thing. The oils that I change, I, I mean, I use and I incorporate in a couple drops of essential oil to make it you know, really a wonderful experience. And so, you know, taking some fractionated coconut oil and adding some lavender in at night is just really a wonderful way to kind of uh, bring yourself appreciation for the day of of hard work that you did. And, um, you know, in doing it in the morning with something that's a little bit more provoking to the senses. So like using maybe orange essential oil, you have to always make sure you're using essential oil that of course you're not allergic to because these are elements that are um, derived 
right from the source. So like orange essential oil is extracted from orange peels. It's all natural. But if you're allergic to oranges, then you might have a problem. (laughs) And, you know, also I found that people sometimes have some sensitivity to the scents. So knowing that too, before you start using the essential oils is important. But if you're fine with all of that, it can be a wonderful experience. And just to give yourself a few minutes and, you know, put some of the um, drops of essential oil mixing it into something like I said, either sesame oil or coconut, co- uh, fractionated coconut oil, uh, grapeseed oil. There's all different kinds out there. And you you kind of just are massaging yourself and expressing love to yourself and saying, you know, that you're grateful for this moment and being very mindful. And at the same time, you're moisturizing your body. And it's a wonderful experience because you've got the essential oils that are also communicating with your neurotransmitters that either can relax you like lavender relaxes you immediately. Or as I said, orange essential oil is great for rejuvenation. So if you're getting up in the morning and you know, you want to you want to start your day off and you you just got out of the shower and you mix up a little concoction of orange essential oil with, um, you know, like coconut fractionated oil and you apply it and you apply it in a loving way to yourself and you express the love for the divine within, then it really can be a wonderful start to your day. And so you don't need to go to the spa for that, although we love going to the spa. (laughs) It's creating your own spa experience when you're doing a technique like that for yourself. So I highly recommend, especially when you are under extreme stress, a lot of self-care, you know, because then you're showing yourself that moment of love and time that you're really needing at that point. And it's a very mindful experience and you're, you're, you're appreciating yourself. So all of those things are really wonderful. And as long as you can keep that mindset and that love, loving vibration, you're actually shifting everything that's going on in your life. And you're, you're actually shifting into that consciousness of pure potentiality, which, um, you know, I've been hearing Deepak Chopra speak a lot about, I think he's fabulous. And I'm in his program, um, you know, the Chopra Center has a program, which that's what I'm enlisted in. And it's really wonderful. I really am enjoying it. But, um, You know, that level of pure potentiality is available to all of us. We just need to get ourselves into that right state of consciousness. But if you're always stressed, you're not going to get there. Your your vibration is not in tune with with that level of, um, you know, that dimension that's available for creativity and, you know, awareness and uh, personal growth and transformation, which is available to all of us. And, you know, some of you need the scientific proof. Well, it, it's in the fact that if you're constantly, it, it can be so simple as saying, okay, well, if I'm having stressful thoughts all the time, I'm creating uh, this imbalance in my systems, I'm actually creating chronic cortisol pr- production and bringing my body into a state of inflammation. And, you know, a lot of information's out there now about inflammation in the body is at the basis of many different disease processes and dis-ease is what brings disease so they're learning that stress is ultimately you know the, the, the first step in a lot of these disease processes manifesting themselves and in the DNA being turned on to bring about disease. And maybe you don't have to have that experience if you change your perception and lower your stress. And, you know, some things are, you know, unavoidable. We all have stress in our lives. There's no doubt about it. Even good things can cause stress. So it's not a matter of eliminating the stress. It's going to be there. We will try to lower everything that can happen stress-wise to us. However, there's always going to be some level of stress in our lives. So it's how we perceive it. How do we how do we digest it? That's also part of my Ayurvedic training is that, you know, we digest foods, but we also digest different things that are occurring in our environment that are coming from the outside into us. And how do we process that? How do we emotionally metabolize that so that we can release that and move forward? And, you know, it's the same as food. There's also um, a level of that practice in 
put into your lifestyle. It's a whole lifestyle change that you make for yourself that brings you another level of appreciation and love to yourself when you're taking on, um, you know, an approach to nutrition in a different way too. So we'll talk a little bit about the, the, um, daily routine practices and nutrition. When we come back, we're going to take another quick break and we'll be back to talk about that. Stay tuned. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Leip is a renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Leip's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Here we are back on the Mind Health Coach Program. With Leah Marie, your host, and I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I'm, I am recovering from a bit of a cold, so I apologize for the weakness of my voice tonight. I'm trying, um, but I'm not sustaining well. Um, but I'm not going to get stressed because that's what this is all about, is keeping our stress low. And so before we went to break, I was talking about different things you can do for yourself if you're experiencing some different things in your life that are stressful. And I kind of had reviewed in the segment before that, that there's so many different experiences happening for different age groups in our um, American culture these days that we all have some level of stress going on. The millennials are, you know, stressed out about a lot of things about early stages in life, their careers, their housing, you know, all of that how they're going to take care of their college debt. Um, the the folks that are the uh, Gen Xers are really stressed out, especially if they're making a lot of money and they have aging parents and, uh, you know, kids in college and they're raising a family. And then you have the, the folks that are the baby boomers that are experiencing that too. They might be the folks that are starting to age into needing care or, you know, they're struggling to keep their health and well-being going. Um, they might not be able to retire as early as they'd hoped. And, you know, then they might have the aging parents uh, factor going on themselves. So there's, uh, you know, there's a lot going on out there in our society that we need to take a look at for stress. And, you know, I've got, like I said, the opportunity to come aboard uh, the uh, dementia supported group cruise that's going to Bermuda. And it's really like, I'm excited because it's really the best deal to go to Bermuda. I feel, you know, the food's all on board. So you're not having to go out to expensive restaurants. There's going to be care on board for those people that need it. um, That kind of support for loved ones that have dementia. Um, And, you know, there's going to be a lot of interesting information from several different speakers that are going to be aboard the cruise. So I'm really excited about that. That's September 1st, which is Labor Day weekend through to the 8th. 
and you can contact me at mindhealthcoach, um, mindhealthcoach.com. You can go to the contact page. You can also give a call to 508 938 nine two one one um and get some information that way you can also email it info at mindhealthcoach.com now i also want to share with you guys that the company i work for is holding a virtual support group for people that are dealing with their loved ones having dementia so it is dementia focused so i i it's not kind of in line with what the millennials need or these stressed out gen xers unless you have a loved one that is experiencing dementia you you really want to look at other alternatives for um, like the coaching sessions and that sort of thing to talk to me about um, how to deal with your stress and and work towards a plan for that but if you have somebody in your family that has dementia and you're looking for some support and you're looking to um, do it without you know having to go someplace you can just call from the comfort of your home into this conference bridge it's going to be held on March 21st so if you're interested it's going to be I believe the hours are 5 to 6 or I think it's 4:30 to 6:30 on March 21st so if you would like information on that please email me at info at mindhealthcoach.com and I would be happy to supply you again you can call 508-938-938 nine two one one um for information on that as well before we went to break i was talking about self-care techniques in a daily routine that um is an it's kind of an ancient practice you know uh that's being brought back into the forefront of integrative medicine and uh it's it involves nutrition it involves self-care uh, a daily routine for self-care um if you're doing a neti pot doing it on a daily basis is what is important for this daily routine uh i mentioned the self-massage which is my favorite uh tongue scraping oil pulling these are all different things to do for self-care of all of your senses it's important to realize that when we're talking about the ayurvedic daily ayurvedic daily uh practices it's about caring for your senses because you want to extend the senses as long as this, as long as you're possibly here in this vessel that we're living in right you want to actually be able to experience a sense of smell your eyesight you know um your hearing and uh you know your teeth being okay and you know your skin being nice and comfortable and just having that level of self-care for yourself also brings about an appreciation and a holding the space for yourself so you're loving appreciating your being you know your actual being and that that generates so much um that it gives you a lowering of stress lowering of cortisol and it it, it prohibits it, it prohibits that from coming in because then you start to bring in dopamine which is really helpful in healing and loving yourself is is producing that endorphin too so bringing about more of that is it can be a very healthy experience for yourself and create more neurotransmitters to be activated that are in a place where perspectives are more loving so that's kind of what helps you shift the perspective on these stressful things that and make you better equipped to handle stress you know it just changes a lot of the way you're processing and digesting those emotional things that are coming into your experience and as i mentioned back in the last segment it's about digestion you know like we have to digest our food we eat certain things that are helpful for that. And, you know, we also have to digest all of the experiences that happen to us. And how do we met metabolize that? How do we digest it in a way that's healthy for us? And that's part of the Ayurvedic approach to well-being. And nutrition, you know, you want to make sure that you are uh, always experiencing the six tastes of life. And those six tastes, according to Ayurveda, are sweet, sour, salty, pungent, bitter, and astringent. And these are all um, supposed to be wrapped in and incorporated in every meal that you eat and there's a way to eat it too so this is a whole lifestyle that goes along with so many 
um, approaches to overcoming stress and overcoming uh, illness. And it's important that, you know, if you don't already have some sort of practice in your life, like working out at the gym and that sort of thing, maybe this would be, you know, more attractive to you to experience a more Ayurvedic lifestyle than what, you know, the traditional uh, American culture has provided to us over the years of, you know, weight loss programs and um, the gym and there's all different fad diets out there. And some of those might work for you too. But this is a different approach that it seems to me like it's much easier to kind of integrate into your life. So we're going to take one more break before we wrap up the show. Take a nice deep breath while we're on our break. Listen to the commercials and we'll be right back. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 BC to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 BC. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. So we're back here on the Mind Health Coach Program with BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. And I kind of was really addressing stress tonight. Um, You know, there's, as I said, in our culture in America, there's many different levels of stress going on among every generation. And so it's, it's an issue that needs to be looked at and, you know, for yourself, when you're looking at your own journey and what's bringing your stress, it's good to document that. And it could change as, uh, you know, your, your life changes. And so it's important to know what you, what triggers your stress and how your reaction is and what things you're doing to inhibit that, you know, what things can, and you do and empower yourself to overcome the stress that you're experiencing so that you do not activate, you know, disease processes and, and weight gain and different things that are of helping you not have quality of life that are, you know, bringing you in a direction of not experience the fullness and quality of life that's available to you in every moment. And, you know, as a parent, too, it's important that if your um, role modeling is that you're always stressed out. I had a a mom that was extremely stressed all the time. So I completely understand how her level of anxiety and stress always affected me in a way that made me, um, you know, almost have a hypervigilance to some different situations that maybe I might not have had if I had somebody that was leading me in a different direction. Now, my mom was a wonderful person. She's since passed. But, you know, um, that was one aspect that she even acknowledged herself that she was kind of, you know, not somebody that would try a lot of different things because of her anxiety level. And so I 
you know, experienced this, um, these different aspects of a near death experience and some different things on my journey that have brought me to these wonderful tools. And it, I feel like, you know, I've broken this, this pattern somewhat in, in that I have learned so much to naturally manage these things that I, I'm so much into it that I'm educating on it. So I really am, you know, passionate about this whole process of looking at how to have a better quality of life, not just for me and not just for my family, but for all of us, because I feel like if all of us are working towards that level of quality of life and feeling um, good and feeling purposeful and feeling inspired and motivated and creative, then we're just going to evolve so much better than if we're trying to push each other down or, you know, put each other down or, you know, having negative thoughts about others. And not that, you know, anyone's perfect. I'm sure that we all have those experiences still, but the less times we have them and the more we're promoting that personal transformation and growth in a positive direction. And as my book is titled, um, creating your legacy with mindfulness, we all are responsible for how we create our legacy. So how do you do that? What, what is inspiring in your life? What is your passion? And what do you need to do to kind of move away from those stressful thoughts that could bring you sickness and end um, your life in, in, you know, disease process that won't allow you to reach those purpose, um, purposeful things that you have targeted in your life. So with that being said, I want to also invite everybody once again to think about what you want to do for yourself this week, how you want to do some self-care. I also invite you to look at the opportunities that I'm putting out there for brain spa training and coaching for executives and then also for the people that have someone in their life that have dementia um, and they need some extra support. We're doing a virtual support group and I've got the dementia cruise coming up in September that's going to be so much fun in Bermuda. I would love to have some of my listeners attend that cruise it's going to be going out of new jersey um, and over to bermuda and i'm really excited about speaking on that so please look at my website contact me book a session if you'd like to know more about me and and you know even a 20 minute uh exploratory call which is free and we can talk about what we can do for working on your stress and i wish you all a wonderful week and uh less stress <laughs> namaste you've been listening to the mind health coach with your host leah marie tune in each week so you can experience contentment and a feeling of well-being on all levels of existence physical mental emotional and spiritual on the mind health coach show with your host leah marie been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company